guys welcome to my channel i am tanya if you don't know if you're new welcome back so it's been a little roller coaster about my channel channel about my channel my life and everything so in this video i will be talking to you guys about my program my medical assistant program if you're not sure i just graduated um, almost well I'm going off on my externship but externship is two months and I will be done um, and yeah so I took some notes to uh, kind of remember and know what to give a like, great tips if you're planning on going to school and if you're done and what specialty you're going to or and stuff like that um, so I haven't finished my externship yet and I haven't started it, which I'm starting tomorrow. I will be doing um, videos on that and my experience and stuff like that. So yeah, I just wanted to come up on the channel here and explain the schooling that I've done so far. So I'm done with like homework and stuff, I'm done with that. So I will be sharing a little bit of everything about that, how my experience was, and maybe give you some tips if you're planning on going to college. So let's get started. Okay, so don't mind the back. It's all my school stuff and it's not even half of it. I have some on the floor here and then some in the in that little drawer in the middle I have it. It's all filled. So So this ice water, it says that there is zero sugar, but honestly, it's really sweet. Like, a, I have to mix it with water. I don't know if that's even true, but it's okay. I'm snacking on these. Oh, they're addicting, kind of. They're good. Anyways. Okay, so I will explain a little bit of background of me and how I decided on going to college. So before I met my, not met, yeah, before I met my husband, I decided that I want to do medical assisting. It was something quick. It was something that I wanted to do because I was a caregiver for my sister for five years and healthcare sort of runs in my family. So I was like, you know, I just want to do this. I want to start off with this and see if I like it. And the college that I went to previously they had high demands or say high standards for students and um, they were competitive yet on a story of I'll tell you guys I'm gonna close my window real quick cuz my cat freaks out if she hears like a neighbor's dogs or people talking so I'll be back okay so yeah and um, they accepted me the first time I, I applied and I was already on the orientation, everything, and I got my scrubs. And then all of a sudden, they're like, um, sorry, you're not, you're on the wait list. I'm like, what? How can I be on the wait list if I was already on the orientation and stuff like that? I got all my scrubs and everything. In fact, two pairs. And they're expensive, so... And they're like, nope. And I'm like, can I know the reason why? And they never wanted to tell me the reason. I was like, wow, how messed up. And anyway, so I tried it again for the next year. They didn't get me in, so I quit. Like, I was done. I was like, whatever. But then I got married. And, um, like, I didn't try to go back. And because, like, I got carried away. And then, like, I started to work instead. And then, well, I stayed home for like over a year and then I started looking for work and then, and then I was like, I had an opportunity and then I had an opportunity to go to college and I was like talking over with my husband and of course, of course he wants me to finish college over everything and I was like, you know, sure and I found this other great college that I'm in now um and yeah so i had like an interview with them and they have to do like an assessment of math writing science and all that stuff and if you pass it with that interview 
you get in the program and so I passed everything and I was so grateful then it was time to decide it was a time to decide and plan everything because you know there's bills you have to pay things and my husband was basically the only one working and so we're thinking like how are we gonna do this so like if you're plan if you're planning to go to college I highly recommend for you to make a plan with your spouse by yourself if you're living with your parents or by yourself or with another partner or, or roommates I recommend making a plan for yourself because working and going to college is hard yet it's doable it depends how much how many hours you work and how much time you need because you need time to study you always need time to study so yeah, yes yeah, yeah. find us stop it honey my husband's here annoying me but find a great schedule that works for you so um what we did was we decided on him <laughs> on him providing um for couple months the, the program itself is seven months um with externship including that so we found a way for him to provide for us both while i'm in school full-time um he was a big support so find a support system um and that helps a lot um and it motivates in school so huh so yeah, that's what we did, and um, what? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and so um, yeah, and five five months flew by. Some of college, some colleges they have a nine month program. This program was really really quick. Stop, <laughs> my husband. This program was really quick and it was like go go go, you know, and that's really that that could be that could be hard, you know, for some people they can't take it. Um overall in the program we only had two girls leave the program and that is it because of the time one of her one of the girls couldn't keep up because of the time consuming and uh her schedule outside of school and another lady she was just afraid of like vaccines and stuff which you know some people just need more time so <clears throat> that's what happened and yeah like i said five months fl fly by really quick and you like it's like intense a little bit but you still sort of have a life like you do but like um a lot of it is just you just need to study and do all your homework and be in school because that's the participation points and stuff um <clears throat> studying is <clears throat> so important because based off everything we learn the notes that we take or or do or take or get from the teachers that's all that's on the test and basically it prepares us for the CMA, AAMA, which is um, Certified Medical Assisting. Um, and there's so much more like RMA, Registered Medical Assistant. There, it depends where you live. And yeah, so like there were lab, lab was like four, three hours of lab in the rest of class so basically I was in school for like six and a half hours plus coming home you know trying to be with family my husband and you know have a little bit of life with him and then you just have to like do the homework finish the homework that's due for tomorrow for next week that's just how it works with your school how each school works and then you have to either make dinner or you know most of the time it's grab dinner and you know and then you need time to do homework and study um <clears throat> do did i have time with friends and family um i did but like 
little time, you know, like I couldn't be out all all day, like or all night at someone's house, you know. Not that I ever do, but just to have fun and stay up, I didn't have that opportunity as much. And like if I didn't care, honestly, I wouldn't um have good grades and I will probably do another video of how like to do study tips and how to get good grades on each test because I did pretty good I got A's and um, yeah I could probably do a video on that um that's as far as um, schooling so like sometimes with like to spend time with family or friends I would do my homework like a week in advance and then I would study, 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 like for one whole day, just study, study, so I could have one day just to hang out with family or friends and be with them. Because there would be times where I have my family member's birthday, for example, they had a party, we had a party, and like I'd still go there and try to enjoy, but at the same time, it's like I'm wasting my day that I could do homework and study. So I felt like. So sometimes I bring my laptop and then I'll just sit with everyone and still like try to do what I need to do with my homework. But yeah, so that's the stuff. It's really doable. Like I said, some most of the colleges for medical assisting is a nine month program, but this one was seven months. And it was really, really busy. Like you have to do your homework. You have to be on there in, in, in class. You have to be on time. They got really strict on people coming in late. And like, you just have to do what you need to do and pass. And yeah. So I highly recommend medical assisting um, because it's actually really fun. Like if you have amazing teachers or like the lab teachers, if they're motivational you you can succeed so good and um yeah so i had great teachers that really helps a lot when you have amazing teachers that care about you and at the end of my uh program well not program but as soon as we this is my third term and that is it third term is externship in my school, they find, help us find um, the hospital or clinic that we want to work at or take do our externship on and they give us three options, like we give them three options, sorry. And then they call out of one to three options and see what hospital or clinic will take us for our extern. And if the hospital or clinic likes you they will hire hire you after all when it's over which is that's pretty cool so yeah and um it's really it's a really great program like i said i highly recommend it it's really fun and you know you're the first face that patients see when they come in and this is really nice like you can make them happier if they're having a bad day you know or you can get all their anger on you. I know it's hard sometimes, but you can switch it around. But yeah. So I will definitely do a video of um, me and my externship. So it would be great. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and share it if you like. Or if you have any tips for me. If you're done with college, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to more videos and you guys you coming along within my journey. So yeah, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Isn't she the cutest little cat ever? She loves to cuddle like this. Mura. Her name is Mura. Mura. cutie.